Tak se to There are a guidebook for house offices, which is quite good, um, produced by National Medical Council. You can get it online. That doesn't even tell you what is required. And, uh, and also important practice issues about work and things up. I mean, all the things that you need to know about the medical legal and stuff. But I guess what you really want to know is what really happened. And that's really the, the things that we're going to discuss. Um, and I'm still going to, I'm going to say that they're going to be three minutes on and I'm going to stop. Um, <laughs> one in five doctors quit housemanship in Malaysia. And I think one, another reason it was mentioned in this article is unable to cope with long hours, unsustainability for the profession, having a totally different perception, and suffering for burnout. But talking about long hours, we mentioned here that Singapore, Australia, and the United States have longer long hours, and that is very, very true. So, um, yeah, um, 75 means that you're working 15 hours less compared to counterparts in Singapore. So, what you need to prepare, there's a, a lot of blogs, and even I found this one, Mental Guide for Mission Housemen. So really like how to cope with your consultant, how to cope with your medical officers and all the problems. And of course, we have this program, which is very good. I think something that you should allow the United for doing so. And there are also house, of, house officer property costs, and they have to take <coughs> team this year as well, uh, back home. The life after foundations are some things that you possibly want to think what is going to be like if I'm going to continue. I mean, I want to go back to Malaysia and what is it for me like? Um, what can I proceed after that? So, I can mention one of five didn't complete the housemanship. So, if you are among four out of five, <laughs> um, you need to do compulsory service. So, there are a total of four years. Uh, so after you've managed to complete two years, hopefully, of your housemanship life, you can basically continue with another two years as a medical officer. This is where you go up to U44, so higher salary rate. Uh, and, but unfortunately, this is the time where you are posted to the district or the rural posting. <coughs> right. um, and after compulsory service, you can basically go to the postgraduate post specialty training. In Malaysia, they have the structured master program minimum of four years, maximum of eight years, and nothing more. If you didn't graduate after eight years, you basically out of the system, and you will not be a specialist in medicine at all. Um, it's a minimum four years with research thesis, something that some of you might not want to do. It is a structured training with different subscribers posting, so it's a very nice training program. Overseas exam, Unfortunately, only MRCPCH, which is for pediatrics, and MRCP for um, internal medicine is accepted. Um, if you're doing MRCAs, uh, MRCS, as well as MR, M MRCOG, unfortunately, it is not accepted anymore in Malaysia. It's simple as because this uh, specialty or this membership did not. Uh, what you call it, because this is surgical subspecialty, so they want you to have the, the training rather than just passing the exam. And special limited pathway available. Um, I'm sure that some of you, I mean, a lot of you know, not one of you guys have been talking about yeah, one minute. Um, academic clinical pathway, but for budding academician or clinical scientists, this is an accelerated pathway. So basically, we this is from one of my housemen that eventually I pursued him and then he basically goes into the training. Unfortunately, it's extremely competitive depending on institutions. If you want to go to a national university, unfortunately, there's none anymore. However, uh, if you are good and we want you, we can make it possible. We can make it happen. <laughs> 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 you may bypass the compulsory service. So directly after your housemanship, you will go into specialty training. You will get into DU51P from your 44. So that is a huge jump from your friends. You will basically have no district or rural training. <coughs> uh, however, it is demanding. It is it, I mean, we expect very high of you. You need to be extremely thick skinned and, <laughs> and you need to have passion to teach and conduct service. 
Another pathway is you basically go to Army Force pathway, uh, means that you go to Ministry of Defense. Um, you still need to do compulsory service, but I have to say you, did, you will do less of your clinical work. Some of my friends basically just play golf with some people. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and some of them, I mean, your job will basically I mean, attach in field work like in Palestine or Syria and things like that and be one of the army officers but in charge of the health of the you know, soldiers there. So um, I guess I did that for... Uh,